All right, this is going to be another video uh, on like alien stuff. It's going to be deep, okay? And I just wanted to inform some of you of some some news that's been going on in the world. Um, there's this place that has been found in Turkey. Um, it's called Gobekli Tepe. And it's very interesting because it's now been carbon dated. And even if you Wikipedia it, uh, do a little Google search, if you will, um, it's dated to be around at least 9,000 years old. Uh, or 9,000. Uh, this is through carbon dating. And 9,000 years is the, like, the minimum. Like, the very, the minimum. Okay? Um, it's that the most people are saying it might be 12,000 years. Uh, carbon dating is not um, an exact science because um, radioactive decay of carbon is, is different depending on the type of carbon, depending on the situation, depending on the rock types. There can be discrepancies that will cause it to vary. But science has said that it is at least 9,000 years old. Uh, this would put this back even farther than Samaria or the Mayans or the Incans, or the Incas, or the Phoenicians, or any other ancient culture you want to name. Any. This is the oldest one. And it's found in Turkey. And it's called Gobeki Tepe. Gobeki Tepe. Okay? You, you, you should really look this shit up. Now, what's really mystifying and Awe, like in awe inspiring about it is that there's like these pillars okay and it's very similar to Stonehenge in the layout there's very, a lot of uh, repeating designs of rings um, archaeologists have said that they think that it was some kind of uh, it was a religious ceremonial temple uh, where offerings were made probably they don't really know um, they're just kind of saying that because of the layout and the design there's like there is like a central pillar, there's like a sac, like, it seems like there's like a plate, like a central, if you Google it, you'll find out what it looks like for yourself, okay, I'm not going to describe in every little detail, but the interesting thing about it is that there's no text, like, so they didn't write anything down, like, nothing was found of metal, uh, there's been no tools, even though a lot of these things are megalithic, I don't know their exact range in weight, um, but they're huger than people and carved out of solid stone uh, and quarried there from miles. I know that the stone was quarried from miles away. don't remember the exact distance. If you look it up, you can find out more information for it yourself. But um, I'm just uh, giving some uh, introspection or some... some uh, some thought towards this because if this goes back farther than Samaria we thought that Samaria was the oldest culture you know what I mean like so if there's cultures that date back even farther than that it's just kind of weird because like we because well with, within Samaria well all religious things like like in the Bible the Bible says that like it created everything at that time okay it's so like around like I don't know whatever Christianity says, like 4,000 years or something, which I, I, I don't agree with you people, I'm sorry, but I think the, old, the world is older than that, but, um, yeah, so, if, um, if in Samaria took credit for their creation, you know what I mean, and they said that that was around their time, and that was, like, three or 4,000 BC, and this is, like, going back, at, like, to maybe 12, like, 10,000 BC, like, that's fucking crazy, like, now, there's no written texts, and scientists are very, what do you call it, <clears throat> shy to talk about anything that would fucking be relevant to actually what's going on with this issue, like, with this topic, but, um, because there's no, nothing written down, then they just say, like, well, we can't possibly know anything about them. Now, uh, a picture's worth a thousand words, right? Or a million, or a fucking, whatever the expression is. A, a picture's worth words, okay? It says stuff. And <laughs> there's so many pictures and carvings in this fucking solid rock. 
in these megalithic structures, in these concentric rings, in these temples that are like 12,000 years old. Um, I'm going to show you one. Uh, it's my favorite one. I drew it and like, and PG-13 if you're like a little kid then you want to turn the video off, okay? But this is like accurate shit. So, what does that look like to you? Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Cool shirt, eh? Like, I like the shirt. And like the face. And like, now, they say that like, they say that you can't really interpret anything from images. But like, I think images can say a lot. You know what I mean? Like, like if they had, like... This, I think it's just retarded. People are retarded. Because in this... Do you notice that he's grabbing his crotch? Do you notice that? Does, do you notice that he's grabbing his crotch? Like, the guy with, like, the weird head face. Uh-huh. Freaking spacey age fucking... What is he wearing? And he's obviously obviously fucking drawing attention to his crotch, okay? Right? This is a statue that was found at Gobeki Tepe. And it, it's a three-dimensional statue, and there's pictures of it if you Google it. Um, that's just a drawing that I did of it. Like, it's literally, literally, I just outlined it from the computer. Okay, so, like, it's accurate to, like, I don't know, two or three millimeters off each edge or something, because, like, I trace it. But, yeah, I thought that I would be able to bring up more detail in the image by doing that and maybe, like, bring it to life. And, uh, yes. Um, but, I would like to know what you people think about this. Uh-huh. 10,000, 12,000, 9,000. Does it fucking matter? It's the oldest thing that humanity has found on the planet. What do you think about that? Like, did, did, um, magic, mythical, etheric, godlike beings from the heavens, another dimension of being, did they come into our reality and move stone blocks for us and perform magic? Um, were there, was it humanity? Did we have, did we have technology back then that was, like, at least on par with ours that could carve into solid bedrock and car like and move these stones and place them. Ten thousand years ago. Did did we have divine intervention by some kind of biological entity um, that could be much similar to ourselves? With an, that has an intellect and a consciousness that may have moved stones and given us information, maybe being interpreted as, as etheric godlike beings because of because of humanity interpreting, you know what I mean? Or whatever else the fuck you think it might be. Just if you if you think you got something, let me know, because uh, archaeologists are speculative and inconclusive. And so far, science is giving us fuck all other than pictures. So, yeah, thank you for watching and please subscribe. Ta ta!